everyone welcome back so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a wipe case for your reborn you can put tissue wipes or you can put nappy bags you can put whatever things you need in it so things you will need to get started is a box or any type of box mine's a bit um, wet and it's been raining and this is from like the start of the week and it got all wet but anyway it doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering it in summer anyway so yeah you'll need your box you need a packet of empty white for this bit that's the bit you need I haven't took it off but I wanted to show you um and then you'll need some tape or glue you need some scissors and what you can decorate the box however you want paint or i'm going to decorate paper so you'll, if you're doing the same as me you'll need paper and pen so i think that's all you will need to get started first so you start by i i feel that um my box is a bit thick so i'm just gonna cut the width I want so I'm going to cut the whole back off basically so yeah I'm going to cut the whole back off to make so I cut started to cut here because this is the width I want it to be so yeah just do that all the way around so you basically cut it in half so I'm going to do that and show you Okay, so I've done that, and you need the back for later, so just save that. And I feel mine's a bit big, so I'm going to cut it to about, let's have a look, about here. You want it a bit bigger than you need as well, if you're cutting it down. So yeah, there's that, and then you, once you've got it to around the size, then you fold up the edge, you just cut on, so it has an edge like that and there should be a slit here and a slit here I think yeah like that and then you got your wait container and then you do the same for this one so you just fold out the bit that you just folded uh -huh. And then you cut it to the exact same. You have two the exact same pieces. And yeah, so they and then you fold up the edge on this one too. And then you got two halves basically. And yeah, and then there should be a slit here. This shouldn't be as big. Still shouldn't be that big, but hey, it is fine. So yeah, now you have two halves of your white container, and you can decorate now or later. I'm gonna do it later. Yeah, now you get your little, not little, your top. I just broke mine, but yeah, I'll fix it after. And you just want to pull it off. I'll get back to you once I've done it. This could be a bit hard. Okay, guys, it seems that I got it off, but basically when I broke it, it looks like it's not fixable, but it the lid still goes on and yeah so when i get a new one i'll just update it yeah it's fine for now anyway this one's really cute with like the blue but yeah so move your rubbish out of the way and then you get your front here's my front and then you want to open your wipes up and draw around that Put it in the middle and draw around that because you're going to need to cut that section out. 
Okay, guys, once you've done that, then you cut it out, which I've done as well. Then you get your... And then, actually, I almost got a stage. You cover it in wrapping paper or if it's already decorated, then you don't do anything. But yeah, you just do decorate it. So I'm going to decorate. I'm going to use the magic of the back of this. And you decorate both halves because this is the back of your box, by the way. So let's do it. Okay, so I've done a rough, like, thing, size of paper. So here's the front and here's the back. They're both really cute. And now I get front and back. And just put it on randomly. And then trim off the excess. So I'm going to use cellar tape and do double sided tape and do that. And then I'll get back to you and do the same for both. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, the next step is to cut this section out in the front there. This bit is quite tricky. The way I like to do it is I tape. So I get my tape and I tape on the inside. I'll, sh I'll just do it and show you guys. It's quite hard to explain. So I just tape it down to the paper. This makes it a lot easier to cut. I'll show you. So I just taped on this bit and to the paper. It just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so I start by stabbing it. And then you can go out to the edge. I'll show you on this side. So yeah, I just cut that inside section out. And here's my other piece if you're wondering. Yeah, guys. Also guys, I don't know if I said, but I did not bring wipes or tissues to put in yet. Because um, I was going to, but I didn't. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But yeah. And last little bit. There we go. So there's your section. And yeah, so next thing is you put your boxes together. You start by like putting like your trays together. So I'm gonna do that, and then you put them together. So you have a box. I can do that and then show you. Okay, guys. So I just put it all together. So here's what it looked like, and I've done it all for apart from one because that's where you like restock it. But yeah, now you put your lid on, and mine's still a little bit sticky on the back. So I took the top off because it's easier to see where to line it up. And then push it down mine's a bit sticky from where I removed it if it's if yours is not you can just use hot glue or any other type of glue whatever you want to do yeah and there it, it is guys then you fill it with whatever you want yours to be filled with I'm not filling mine yet because I'm not sure yet. But yeah, and then you're done. Then you can. Mine's just come off because, yeah, it's not stuck properly. But yeah, then you can open it up and pull things out. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So, yeah, guys, this turned out really cool. A lot better than I expected. I just wish I had hot glue that I could glue it on better. And this really ain't staying on. Yeah, now I just need to get some tissues or whatever. Some are in here. Probably little tissues. Because if you get the inside where I... The leg keeps coming off. Yeah, if you get the inside wet, it might not be the best thing you put in wet wipes in because it'll get the inside wet. If you put, like, cling film or some in it, and then it should be fine. Yeah, for now... It's fine. I'm just going to tape the lid on because it's really annoying me that it keeps falling off. So I'm just getting a piece of tape and taping it on. That way it should stay on a bit better. But anyway 
you guys. Just don't break the lid getting it off, but yeah. That's all for this video. Um, comment down below video idea to a shout out. Please click like, subscribe. I think I said, but anyway, just do it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!